वेलकम बैक टू पैनल ए सुपर हीरोज अहोय मेरा नाम है तुषार So let's review Weapons of Mass Extinction, Holy Cow's uh, new book that I unboxed a couple of days back. This one is Stage of Stage One: Blood of the Last Asuran. It's written by Pijoy Ravindran, and there is few artists that feature on it: Tadam Gyadu, Vivek Goel, Gaurav Srivastava. Coloring is by Prasad Patnaik. Lettering is by Vibhav Pandey. Cover Abhilash Panda, Vivek Goel, Prasad Patnaik. This brilliant cover. and uh, yeah this is the team of the book and uh, it's a great looking book like all holy cow books are uh, this is quite interesting because holy cow kind of reboots their universe every few years uh, and that is what is one of the reasons that it stays relevant because uh, they get fresh blood pun intended uh, in their books and uh, the artist and the uh, creatives move on but uh, the holy cow sanctity remains too many puns in this review i'm sorry but uh, i was kind of revisiting different books and things and i am like surrounded with these holy cow books so i mean i have recapped how many holy cow books are there but primarily uh, what connects with this book w o m e is this entire universe of aghori and later on we had the character desh who uh, met aghori and you know kind of saved him and took the story in some other uh, some new uh, dimensions so aghori basically is around like 17 issues the age of immortals 4 is uh, where it uh, uh kind of concludes that whole arc of aghori it goes into like bigger battles uh, involving gods and monsters and so on and uh, there is uh, one book in particular which uh, really shows all these characters which i really like uh, like uh, kind of you know like this this world will not end and it will continue so let me try to get that so in uh, age of immortals issue 4 which is technically aghori 17 it's also written aghori 17 there is a nice kind of uh, post credits uh, kind of teaser which shows all these characters and that's what i like about holy cow they uh, they look at very ambitious world building but they also like kind of do everything that is needed to uh, go there so things are teased in terms of story and uh, pretty much most of the times uh, they meet kind of those uh, promises so coming back to wome uh, this book uh, has few themes that are going on if you have read the last book the last asuran volume 2 So here is Bijoy coming into this universe and uh, having read some of Bijoy's work like uh, he's uh, primarily known for these code name alpha books which were quite popular it's like uh, Punisher and Deadpool meets uh, Om Shanti Om and this one was like pulpy kind of street fighting and things like that and this one he took it in a very different direction in the bollywood of the 90s and it uses lot of tropes of bollywood like uh, twin brothers reincarnation and so on uh, heavily influenced by om shanti om i will try to review it soon uh, but it's quite a quite a league of its own this book code name alpha 97 bijoy is known to write these kind of very pulpy uh, lot of nerdy kind of books like they will have references to uh, movies like uh, uh, from bollywood and from like uh, uh, 
movies like Star Wars, Star Trek, science fiction, uh, horror, uh, classic horror. In this one, uh, the pitch is like, uh, this is like a John Carpenter kind of world in which uh, the main character is given a lot of help. So Desh is the main character and uh, he is taken through this uh, kind of weird experiment as you can guess like blood of the last asuran i'll try not to spoil it uh, this book because it's completely new and uh, for all i don't know how many people will be watching it because holy cow is like a cult appeal so if you are a holy cow uh, fan you know who you are and uh, you are in for a great uh, time with this new book there is connections to previous books and i was trying to find them uh, but pretty much bijoy has done a lot of new stuff in this book so he has created this uh, this land this place called hela dweep it's somewhere like south of uh, coast of uh, sri lanka and you can think of it as like you know amalgamation of maldives or or you know some of the southern indian ocean island places uh, what's interesting is there is a kind of a prologue that, that opens the story it happens in like uh, 7000 bc now 7000 bc is where uh, ramayana is known to be uh, to take place and uh, so there is a interesting connection between how moon blade was created so this uh, story Last Asuran Volume 2's main kind of one very mythical connection was creation of Moonblade and how uh, Desh acquires this Moonblade. But this is how this story starts, WOME, and then you are taken to a futuristic uh, uh, version of Hela Dweep. And this is like a dystopian world. You can think of like, uh, you know, it has like references to the dystopian universe of like Blade Runner it's futuristic and it's kind of very messy like messed up world if you think of it but uh, the story is not like linear so it's told in the uh, pov of uh, blackjack so there is this oddball group of like uh, gang so they are like having like these kind of double meaning name parasite dimitri viper blackjack and dr helmet strangle so there's a lot of scope for like dark humor uh, movie references and so on so they are conducting this kind of experiment on Desh and in parallel there's two three stories that are running uh, at a very high level these stories are to do with the uh, kid being uh, abducted uh, from a school now the name of that school is also referenced to another holy cow thing I don't want to spoil it but there's another uh, not one there's quite a few characters introduced so there is a character of a cop who works uh, so there's different sides of this uh, uh, this whole uh, universe right hella dweep so there is people who are law enforcers they are law breakers criminals and there are some mystical characters and there is obviously something that is brewing that we'll get to know it's a four part uh, kind of series so maya chandrasekhar is one character then you see desh in dharavi I think this is aftermath of the last Asuran and this is pretty much uh, the premise. Uh, the story also introduces few new characters which is quite ambitious because in one book you are talking about introducing a different style, a new writer, then you introduce a lot of new characters. So it's a lot to take in but I would say the book pretty much does a satisfying job of it. As with Holy Cow books, I need to read it. A few times i've already read this twice you will find a lot of interesting connections and kind of easter eggs also uh, with the holy cow universe and overall it's a very uh, it's a very interesting place where we are at with this holy cow universe uh, it will surely go places i'm very eager to see the next part of this series and it takes a lot of effort for uh, these books to come out because the kind of art seamlessness how you know it flows through even different artists so one can imagine a lot of work goes into it and Bijoy has also written a fun kind of uh, uh, afterword on this uh, overall WME is a very satisfying book uh, this year I have not reviewed much books I am not reading much books um, so this was good because it's something that interested me 
also so really nice to dive back into comic books thanks to this book and uh, overall i would say as if you're a holy cow fan you would have already ordered your copy so go ahead and enjoy that and share your thoughts in the comments and uh, this is about wme thank you for watching see you in the next one